Spider-Man No Way Home, his first film to make $1 billion since 2019. Spider-Man No Way Home crosses $1 billion mark at worldwide box office Peter Parker's climb to the top of the box office charts came even as the Omicron variant of the coronavirus spread rapidly across the US, raising new concerns about indoor activities. The film has sprinted past even the most ambitious expectations amid the headwinds presented by the Omicron variant, said Paul Derberabedian, senior media analyst at Comscore, which tracks box office data. The last film to reach $1 billion in worldwide ticket sales was Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, 2019, according to Comscore. No Way Home is the third chapter in the cycle of Spider-Man films starring Tom Holland and Zendaya. The latest installment features a supporting turn from Benedict Cumberbatch as the Marvel sorcerer Doctor Strange. The series is a collaboration between the Disney-owned powerhouse Marvel Studios and Sony, which owns film rights to the Spider-Man character. Sing 2, an animated musical featuring the voices of Matthew McConaughey and Reese Witherspoon, claimed the number two spot on the domestic charts earning $23.76 million from 3,892 theaters in the U.S. and Canada. The movie was distributed by Universal Pictures, a unit of NBC News parent company, NBC Universal. The holiday weekend's other major new releases turned in less commanding commercial performances. The Matrix Resurrections, the fourth installment in the mind-bending science fiction series, collected $22.5 million in North America after debuting Wednesday, including $12 million over the three-day weekend, according to Warner Brothers. Resurrections, premiered simultaneously on the ad-free version of the streaming service HBO Max. The platform does not publicly disclose viewership data, making it difficult to estimate how many people saw the movie during its opening weekend. The new Matrix has so far drawn a mixed critical response, notching a 66% fresh score on Rotten Tomatoes and AB in CinemaScore exit polls as of Sunday morning. The King's Man, the third entry in Matthew Vaughn's violent Kingsman spy series, nabbed $10 million in North American theaters after debuting Wednesday, including $6.3 million over the three-day weekend.